Great day everyone, welcome to another OBS tutorial on this channel. In today's video I would like to show you how to download, install and set up vertical plugin for your OBS. So let's go for it. First of all you have to go towards the webpage atom.tv, you will have link in the description of this video. Here all you have to do is scroll a little bit down and here you can see the Atom vertical plugin. Of course as you can see for this plugin you need to have OBS of the version 29 or later. Therefore in case you want to know how to download and install the latest version of the OBS simply check out one of our previous OBS tutorials. Ok but in our case as we have the latest version I can simply click on download. So now I will simply choose where I want to save it. In my case towards the downloads of course, save. As you can see, it just got downloaded. I can simply click on vertical canvas. Now I simply have to choose the path where my original OBS is installed. So in my case, it's in the OBS studio, blah, blah, blah. I will click on next. But of course, as I'm recording right now, I cannot install it because I would have to close my OBS that is just running. So in your case, you will just click on install and next. In my case, I will simply close this installation and we are going straight towards the OBS with the item vertical plugin installed. Now as you can see we are in something what looks like OBS but is a little bit different. This is thanks to this new vertical plugin which of course you can turn on or turn off by your preferences up here in the docs. You will simply click on docs and you can check or uncheck the vertical scenes, vertical scene transitions, vertical and so on. So in case I will turn off vertical this right window will simply not showing up. But of course for the purpose of this video I want to have all of those windows visible but just for you to know. Ok now how it basically works. It's actually the same as the normal OBS. So here you got scenes, sources of the normal OBS and vertical scenes and vertical sources for your vertical screen. So basically I have display capture on my normal sources and now I can simply add the same, add source and display capture the same towards my vertical OBS. Now I can simply size it as I want, I can move it or I can even rotate it, flip it, stretch it, center or anything else. So let's say I just made it bigger and I want to center it to screen like this and as you can see it's perfectly centered towards the screen. For the next part of the video I will simply turn off camera in this OBS because I need to transfer it towards this OBS and I simply cannot use it at the two places at the same time. So ok so now I'm here in the small OBS as you can see once again at the vertical scene we got simply our display capture. I will once again transform it and center horizontally like this and now I want to add my webcam towards the top of it. So it's fast and easy. I will simply click once again on the plus and then video capture device like this and I will choose video capture device. Thanks this I simply added my webcam towards my vertical source and I can once again play with this how I want. I can change the size, center or whatever else. So in the end you can set up the scene by your own preferences. One of the main benefits that you can use thanks this vertical plugin is that you can simply record your videos in the vertical just by clicking on this red dot or you can live stream in the vertical by clicking on this but of course you have to set up it first so we will click on vertical settings and here you will set up everything like a normal OBS. But of course the resolution will be flipped so 1080 to 1920 or less how you want. You will, you will choose the bitrate, audio bitrate all by the OBS best settings. Then you will go to streaming, you will here choose the server, the key, everything will be passed as you want. Whether you want to stream to Kik, to Twitch, to YouTube, to TikTok, whatever you want, you will simply set up the streaming settings. You can also set up the start streaming hotkey, therefore you can set here whatever you want and you can basically start or turn off your stream, simple pushing of one button or a combination of the buttons. So for example control plus five and I will turn on stream thanks of this. I can also set it up as turn off stream and thanks this I can just turn it on and turn it off without even reaching towards the OBS to click on this button. Nextly we got a recording, you can once again set here what you want, the path, where your videos want to be saved, the start and recording hotkey of course once again and rest of the default recording settings. I'm just showing it to you to know that you can set it up easily, you can simply stream or record your videos by just pressing one button and also you can backtrack clip vertical so you can basically set the time that you want to backtrack for example 60 seconds and then for example when something good happened in your game or on your stream you can simply click this button and it will capture for you the last 60 seconds of your stream and voila a clip is generated. And the last feature that I'm going to show you is linking of the scenes. What is actually great feature? Because in case you are streaming towards the two places at the same time let's say that the horizontal is going towards the Twitch and vertical is going towards the TikTok 
you can actually link your scenes therefore in case you will switch your scenes in the normal obs it will also switch on your vertical i will simply set up here one bone scene okay so let's say that this new scene will have webcam only okay so let's say like this whatever so let's say like this and now you can simply right click on the vertical scene one and you can click on link scene and i want to link it with my scene too so like this and I will click on my vertical scene and I want to link it with my scene. Thanks this, as you can see, every time I will switch scenes on my normal OBS, what of course can be once again set up with your hotkeys. So you can basically switch your scenes on normal OBS and vertical OBS by just clicking on some buttons. And as you can see, it will change at the same time at the both OBS, at the vertical and the horizontal at the same time. Time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this video. Really hope you found it what you were looking for. In case you want to help this video to reach even more people, please hit the like button. In case you want to support this channel, please hit the subscribe and click on bell as well to be notified every time new video is online. Or you can simply follow me on my Twitter as well to know everything what is happening around the channel. Or in case you want to support our tutorial journey even more, you can join our Patreon link in the description. But for now, it's really all. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and see you all at the next video.